Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a logo on a CMU wall. As you can see here, we have a generic 12 inch CMU wall. If I zoom in, you can see the rendering material We're on the realistic setting. Is this CMU material with the relief pattern? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new material for our logo. So if I go undo Manage and Materials, let me pull this up so you can see it. And I search for my concrete masonry wall. Concrete masonry units. What you have to do is on the bottom here in 2013 is if you right click where it says concrete masonry units, you say add to documented materials and you say keep both. So now I've created this one down here called concrete masonry units 2. This we're going to leave a separate name for now, but I'm going to edit its, edit its properties. So if I double click it, I'm in the properties over here on the right. And if I scroll down, actually I'm under the Appearance tab. As you can see here, there's graphics, and then you scroll down to Appearance. If I scroll down, there's a relief pattern, which we're going to bump up because of the fact that we're only relying on this to make it look like CMU. So I'm going to beef that up to about 1.5. Then I'm going to go into the Image, and I'm going to select a different image. Let me click the image here. So now we have our CMU image. I'm going to click our logo. So if I go to Desktop, I click Logo, Open. Now I'm going to make it something like a six foot six, six foot by six foot box or something like that. Click done. Apply and done. So now we have our image set up. Now all we're going to do is going to split this surface so we can place it to it. So I'm going to go to my south elevation. I'm going to go under modify, split face or SF. And I'm going to click the face of my wall. And now I'm going to draw my six foot by six foot box. So let's do it somewhere relatively in the middle. Six foot by six foot. So now we have this box here. I'm going to finish the sketch. If I go back to 3D, you can see here's our box right in the middle. Now we're actually able to paint different materials into different parts of this wall while it's still a uniform wall. So if I go to my modify again, and I go to paint, which is PT, this dialog comes up where I can select materials. I'm going to select that material I just created, which is the Concrete Masonry Units 2, and now I'm going to paste it onto this wall. And you can see I pasted it there. Now you can see it's a little off. Um, to fix that, we can just, for now, we'll just move around the, the boundaries of this. But in reality, you'd want to move around the pattern of the CMU. So let's see how that looks. I'll go to realistic. Oops. Now you can see what this is. You can see the brick, I mean the CMU and, and the logo. Um, messing with the image and the image size will get you to where you want to be. For now I'm going to pull this around just so we can see everything. So you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. So now you can see there's actually this CMU backup, but it looks like it's painted on. So if I go to 3D and I run a rendering of this, and I'll be right back, you'll see how it looks. So as you can see, I just finished this rendering, and if I zoom into it, you can see how it's uh, the logo and the CMU all unified as one, so it looks like it was painted onto the CMU. Hope that's a little uh, tip that can help you out and maybe mess around with. 